Hi guys, my name is Janmin Lissandra and today I will be demonstrating on how I painted this painting. So first of all guys, you need to subscribe to my YouTube channel in order to see um, all my um, coming videos and tutorials. Okay, so but before that, I'm going to introduce to you first my materials. I have here my paint palette. I have the titanium white, the tallow blue, the brilliant red, the medium yellow, and the lamp black. So you always observe, guys, that I am always um, using limited colors in my palette because I want you to learn how to mix and get the desired colors you want. Okay, so these are my brushes. I have here a um, 2 inch flat brush. You can also use 1 inch flat brush, guys. I have also here number 11 flat brush it is equivalent to 1 inch flat brush it has a long handle I have also here I think this is a nine, number 9 uh, flat brush guys um, long handled. I have also here number 9 flat brush short handle it's smaller than the other one guys this one is um, number 1 liner brush or run brush for the details you can also use number two zero double zero triple zeros okay ah this is my canvas guys it's um 12 by 10 inches the three cost of prime um white acrylic you can also use gesso guys um if you have so i coat it with white acrylic guys three cuts and after two cuts i I prime it, um, I sand it and make it smoother. Then add it, uh, adding some, adding the, the last coats. It's also the white acrylic. Okay, so first I'm going to start with the, uh, with the, uh, what I call this, um, um, the background colors or the, the first coating. So it will be dark, guys, and I'm planning to put the, the ship here or the boat. Uh, for you guys, the boat will be become will be very easy, guys, because it has no um it has no uh, good form because that I think it is ruined by the by the by the storm. So so actually, guys, you can also put your own ship or boat in there. Okay, so first I'm going to use this uh, number two flat brush, and I'm going to paint it with dark color. So I'm gonna use the bl the blue and the black here so we're gonna make the center of the painting dark so I'm going to put lots of blue on it in red also so it doesn't matter guys I'm gonna put a okay, kind of put as long as it's dark so if it feels hard guys just add water on it I'm gonna use the blue, the black again with white and blue to make it bluish gray. So, wait, I'm sorry. I'm going to put make the dark here in this area here. So make it dark, guys. Add lots of blue and and, and red and black here can I use the white here with a little amount of yellow and let's add some white um, white um, what do you call this a spot so this will be um, some sort of horizon guys and this part will be a little white or light so we add more blue and black to make it um, blue is gray. So blue and black guys, and just add a little white and make it lighter. Add more red guys to make it um, reddish or a little violet in color. Just add more white here. So just blend and play the colors, guys. 
so this will be very 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 dark so I'm gonna add white on it just add a little clouds on your on the top of the of the storm so let's make it white here so we just have to blend the colors guys and play play it play and, and blend it very well so I'm gonna use a little red, yellow and white to make some um, a little orange or brown color light brown I'm gonna use this white. I'm gonna add some white guys to make it lighter. Let's add some rice on here. Okay, so just blend it here in the center. And let's add some waves, distant waves here. Okay. Okay, so we have now uh, some sort of horizon. Okay, now here, guys, we're gonna add some. Um, um, I think I'm going to add a blue vibe. Uh, but by the way, I'm going to put the light coming from the left left side here. So this the sunlight will be coming from the left side. There'll be a little sunlight, guys, on the painting. So it's be very very dark on the sides. Then I'm gonna put the light on, on the center of our painting. Okay, so we have now, I have here the white, I need to mix a little bluish guys, so blue is on um, blue green, yeah, blue green, so I'm gonna use the blue of course, because it's real green and um, yellow, okay, so, just a uh, little amount of yellow guys, because it will become green if you put too much in it, so I'm gonna add white to make it lighter, then I'm gonna add some waves here, this will be some sh sort of waves guys really huge wave okay this will be some sort of a transparent wave guys so another wave here Transparent wave. Let's add more transparent wave here. We're just gonna add some dark um, waves. So we're gonna add, I'm going to mix for darker bluish colors. So just blue guys with a little amount of yellow. a little uh, darker blue so we're gonna use the blue guys with black here so let's gonna put it here okay, and also here I'm gonna uh, mix more so blue and black here and we're gonna put it here more blue and black so you just have to blend the colors guys and don't worry about the uh, if it's not uh, really blend well so it doesn't matter Let's add some blue color here. Random blue colors, guys. And some dark color, so I need to add some dark colors here also. Okay. 
Means I'm black. Trying to add more blue guys here with some yellow to make it a little greenish. Then we need to add some colors on our dark part. Okay, so we just have to blend guys. This part should be a little dark because I'm gonna make it a uh, really dark mainly. And I'm gonna make it a little colorful. So I'm going to put here the 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 boat and we're going to add some waves here because we're going to put them so it will be a very huge waves guys here so not so light that's enough and i'm going to make this part lighter guys so i'm going to add more yellow and white to make it lighter green it's going to be a very very light green. So this is some sort of wave size. Okay. Now here we can add also another way. Some small waves here. I am using on the bigger brush guys. We can also use a uh, smaller brush if you are having hard time using this brush. Okay, so here also guys can add some short waves or small waves here or larger waves. I don't know what to call that. Here you can add more. So I'm gonna make that wave lighter, so I'm gonna add more yellow and white. I'm gonna add more blue green guys, so just yellow and blue and white and blue and yellow and just um, blend the colors ok so we have now the first coating guys I think I'm going to add some light colors on our clouds so I can add, can add more there so I'm gonna use the blue and white guys only and some sort of dark color to make it gray yes uh, let's add some clouds here Sorry guys, uh, I should put some. Okay. I will be using another brush, guys, the number 11 flat brush. To use this white <laughs> with some black color here to make it gray, yes. So just uh, some gray and blue guys here.
just blend it here again guys um, some black and with a little amount of red and blue with a little amount of white to blend here It's a little um, violet, guys. So let's make this part lighter. Okay. And also let's blend the colors here. And here also guys, so it's a blue color. I told you guys I'm just I'm retouching the colors on top of the of the painting of the, of the of the clouds so I'm gonna use the white again here and black so let's add some more clouds here so just um tapping technique guys but make it um soft and do this guys uh, just follow what I'm doing so I'm gonna continue Just add more white guys to add more um, highlights. So just do it this way guys, like you're just punching or tapping for this kind of effect. Add another um, light color. Okay. Another light color here. So we have now the clouds guys and we have also the the sea so I think I'm going to retouch more here in this part so I'm going to use the darker color the, the same color guys okay, just with uh, one go just make this part dark 
I'll remove some white. I'm just touching guys, so you can, uh, you can also um, follow me if you want to. I'm just touching some areas. Okay. okay, that's it. So I think I am done guys with my first coating. So I'm gonna let it dry first for at least 5 minutes and gonna go back adding details like the like the the boat here doing the highlights and some more okay guys let it, let it dry first okay guys so I think the paint is already dry now I'm going to start adding the details so I'm going to start with the the boat here or the shape okay So I'm gonna use a smaller brush guys. I'll be using this um number nine flat brush short handle. Then I'm gonna uh, be mixing blue and black to make it a darker of grayish. So I'll be using white here to make it lighter and blue and black. So the color guys should be a little um Yes, gonna use the black here. So, so it will be it will be a dark, a bluish gray guys color. Okay, so I think we we'll put it here. Need to put the put here. So first guys, we're gonna add something like, uh, I'm, gonna make, I'm gonna use the black here to, to make it more uh, visible. So I'll be using the black guys. So since it's a storm guys, the boat is a little uh, slanting. Just gonna make it a little bigger, so I'm gonna make it bigger, guys. Let me get a little bigger here. Okay. Yeah. So again guys, let's mix around bluish gray, so I'm gonna add a little white to make it lighter. So it's a bluish gray color. Okay. I don't know what they call here call this in English guys. It's a um, uh, long pole which you can uh, put the uh, um, don't know what you call that uh, 
um, the white um, cloth that, that was where the, the what you call, I don't know what to call that. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. I really don't know. I really don't know what to call this part. But I'm just painting this puzzle. If you wanna paint with me. Okay, so let's look at um, a little broken. Okay. Uh, another one here. Let's add also another one on the on the box. Okay. That's it. So the wood card is about to to go down or sink or sunk on the bottom of the ocean. Let's add more details. Okay, then I'm going to add the white. I don't know what to call that guy. The the sail, as well as the sailing boat. You can see that on the the sailing boat. I don't know what to call that. So I just wanted to follow everything I'll be doing the tutorial. So I'm gonna use the white here. Mm -hmm. Put a little blue in some red to make it a little violet. Let's make it darker so I'm gonna use more more blue and red. I think I will provide um a traceable guys on this um boat but I think but I think this just be really easy because you know you do not need to make it perfect. Because you know it's sinking, that's why you can do everything you want on your boat, guys. Like uh, the 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 form should not be perfect because you know it's been destroyed by the storm. Now uh, you know what I'm, I'm talking about, fully. Okay, so so it's um. This has been blown away guys and it's been broken. Yeah. Okay. Hmm, that's it. We don't need to make it perfect, guys. Yeah. And also the other one here. Now you see, guys, it's really broken. Like it's being blown away. Okay. And also the other one here. Yeah. Okay. How about that? And I'm gonna, I think I'm going to make it darker, so I'm going to add more blue and red here. And more white and think no. Just add one on the back. Okay. It's gonna be a really um Huge storm, guys. I'm going to add uh, a red flag on the top of it. 
Okay, that's it. Then the the best part so is adding some highlights on our um, boat or ship. So let's add more white here. Need a little amount of yellow and black. I uh, know red. Sorry, red. So the highlight sky should be a little yellowish. So let's put all the highlights on the left side. It's a little tricky guys and actually uh, telling you it's not that easy but actually you just have to try it if you want, if you want to learn something like the techniques okay and also here and here so Okay, we have now the highlights of our boat. Okay. Yeah. Then we're gonna mix for brown color guys, gonna add some highlights on our on the body of the boat. So I'm gonna mix for brown color, so I'm gonna use this red and yellow here. I'm gonna add some white and little amount of black to make it brown. More white. Okay, so we guess we're gonna add it in the left part. Okay, so just do it this way, guys. There's no special technique. You just have to follow the rules and the how to put the light. So we're gonna since since our light source coming from the left, so we can add we can add all the light um, all the highlights on the left side. Okay, so here also I think also on the pool guys. Put the highlights here. And also here. We have more details like something or I don't know. Okay, about that. Then we're gonna mix. Then we're gonna add some de some details here. The whole yeah. Let me get. Okay, that's it. Then we're gonna also put some highlights here, guys. Okay, so we're gonna use the white here. So I'm, gonna, I'm mixing blue and black, guys, to make it darker and white. some sort of um, diffuse reflection or bouncing light guys here so I'm adding little um, grey yes or uh, bluish grey here so don't overdo it just small amount okay I think I'm going to add some highlights on the pull the plug on the top so I'll just use the red with adding some white case to make it lighter. Okay, that's it.
Okay, let's add more highlights on this um, part. So, I'll be using this thin color here, guys. The brown, and I'm going to add more white on it. Okay, I'm just gonna add some highlights here, and here, and here, so here. And here also. And here. To make it lighter, guys. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. So we have now the bolt. I think it's just um, it's not hard to paint this one. Okay, so I think I'm going to proceed um, adding more do details on the water. So I think I'm going to add more de um, details on the wave here, uh, smashing on the boat. Okay. So I'll be using the white guys in the existing white color here. I'm gonna make it darker, so I'm gonna mix it with with the color here um it's a little violet guys blue red and and with a little black and mix it with white with a little amount of yellow to make it darker okay let's gonna add some smashing tips so this will be the highlights guys so make it um don't push it too hard guys just soft it softly okay. do not push to push it too hard guys in, in the blenders and it's just like um what they call this uh just like um um tapping or punching yeah. Okay. I'm going to make it a darker, so I'm gonna add blue and red also. With a little more black, guys. Here. So let's add more waves here. So just blend the colors. And let's gonna add more waves here. On the distance. Okay. And also here. Put soft. Okay. I'm going to add more blue guys to make it more bluish. So let's add more waves here. You can use more brush guys if you have a hard time using this brush. Okay, I think I'm going to move below. Okay, watch it. So let's add, let's add more waves here. Okay. Little waves here. it softly guys okay ok 
And of course this part guys, can add more white. So we're gonna add a little yellow, a little color and white. A little amount of blue to make it blue green. Okay, and let's add more. Let's add some waves here. You can also use the punching guys, pound out uh, tapping technique. Let's spray the waves here. Just do it softly. You can use tapping guys or punching to create some solid um, strokes for the wings. So guys, just follow what I'm doing guys if you wanna point to me. Set some short and um, small waves here. Okay. Now I'm gonna mix for a darker color. So I'm gonna add more black here and blue. Let's set some waves here. And then add some lighter color here. Here are some short waves guys by using this on uh, the tip of the the flat brush. You can also use a, a, a round brush guys or a smaller brush if you're having a hard time using this one. Yeah. 
Okay. And now guys, we're gonna add more. I'm gonna add white guys for the highlights. So, to create more... Um, dense light. So, I'm using the white guys. Get more highlights on these um, waves. realistic now and I'm gonna use I'm gonna add more highlights here I just uh, I'm, I'm adding more white guys to create more highlights on the smashing waves uh, on the boat so again guys just tapping a punching technique So here, let's add some more lights here. Okay. Yeah, I think I'm almost done with my with my simple demonstration, guys. Not to paint this one. Yeah, I think it looks realistic now. Yeah. What else I'm gonna add? I don't know yet. Okay, so let's add more highlights. So I'll be adding more white here. and here. So guys, I'm gonna add more white bubbles. Yeah, yeah, I call that bubbles. Or some sort of short waves. Okay, so just use the tip of your brush, guys, like this to create these short waves. Yeah, about that. So I think I'm almost done, guys. Oh, I think I am done. So let's, let's move a little on top, and yeah, I think I'm done. It's on the bottom. Yeah. Wow, this is very quick, guys. So I think, guys, I am done with my with my um, simple painting tutorial. How to paint this um, the ship on uh, inside the great storm with some great and huge waves crashing or smashing on the boat or the ship. Yes, I, I hope you get something on <laughs> out of my tutorial today. So hopefully, um, if you are painting with me now, hopefully you did it. Um, you did it like a, um, you do it uh, good, and I hope you I see that or you post that on my page or my or on my um, um, Facebook group. So guys, um, 
just keep on painting the more you do it the more you will know how to use your brushes and the more you know how to mix the colors and that's very important guys in learning how to paint so you need to do that every day okay guys so i want to say thank you very much for watching this video and for painting with me hopefully you get something today okay once again thank you very much and have a nice day and god bless you all